Every night, each one of us embarks on a journey into the realm of dreams. As we close our eyes and drift into sleep, our minds become the stage for a series of stories, scenarios, and images that are as fascinating as they are elusive. Today, we will embark on an intriguing journey, one that takes us deep into this integral part of the human experience, the mysterious world of dreams. Dreams have long been a topic of intrigue, evoking curiosity and fascination for their surreal, at times, baffling nature. From ancient civilizations to modern-day psychoanalysis, dreams have played an integral role in shaping human thought and understanding of the mind. They have been thought of as divine messages, psychological tools, and neurological phenomena, presenting us with a myriad of interpretations and insights. Ancient civilizations gave significant importance to dreams, from the Sumerians and Egyptians who viewed dreams as portents and divine messages, to the ancient Greeks who used dreams as a means for divine intervention and prophecy. Dreams have held a central place in human culture and spirituality. They have been our windows into alternate realities, our links to the divine, and pathways to our unconscious. Fast forward to the modern era, and dreams found their place in the heart of psychology. Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, and Carl Jung, one of his most influential disciples, explored dreams with great enthusiasm. Freud saw dreams as the royal road to the unconscious, a pathway into the hidden recesses of our minds. He believed that our dreams are expressions of repressed desires and unresolved conflicts from our waking lives. Jung, on the other hand, saw dreams as a tool for the mind to communicate with itself. He introduced the concept of collective unconscious and archetypes, suggesting that dreams tap into symbols and motifs that are shared across all human cultures. Jung believed that by interpreting these symbols, we could gain insights into our personal growth and psychological transformation. Despite their different perspectives, both Freud and Jung agreed on one thing, that dreams are not random or meaningless, but rather significant expressions of our subconscious mind. While psychoanalysis offers us intriguing theories about dreams, modern science presents another layer of understanding. From a biological standpoint, we know that dreams mainly occur during rapid eye movement, REM, sleep, a unique phase of sleep characterized by random movement of the eyes, low muscle tone throughout the body, and a propensity for dreaming. This is a stage where our brain is almost as active as when we're awake, leading to the generation of dreams that are vivid and often narrative-driven. Dreams can be as diverse and varied as our waking experiences, ranging from the mundane to the fantastical, from the mildly puzzling to the profoundly moving. There's an almost limitless variety in the content of dreams. We might find ourselves being chased, flying, showing up unprepared for an exam, or even meeting loved ones who've passed away. We might also become aware that we're dreaming while we're in the dream, a fascinating phenomenon known as lucid dreaming. Multiple theories have tried to decode why we dream. The activation synthesis hypothesis, proposed by Harvard University psychiatrists, suggests that dreams result from the brain's attempt to interpret random neural activity during sleep. The continual activation theory, on the other hand, suggests that the process of dreaming helps to consolidate and process information gathered during the day. Threat simulation theory, a more evolutionary perspective, posits that dreaming serves as a mechanism for rehearsing threatening scenarios to better prepare us for real-life dangers. Each of these theories offers a unique perspective on why we dream, providing pieces of an intricate puzzle. Our dreams could be serving multiple functions, acting as an arena for emotional processing, a platform for creativity and problem-solving, and even a simulator for potential threats. Dreams often seem to mirror our emotional lives, reflecting our anxieties, hopes, fears, and desires. They may present these feelings in direct or symbolic ways, providing a rich resource for personal introspection. Many people maintain dream diaries, and some even seek professional dream analysis to delve deeper into the subconscious messages their dreams might be offering. But why do we often forget our dreams? Neurologically, dreams are believed to be stored in our short-term memory, which is usually purged shortly after we wake up. Unless we make a conscious effort to recall them, the content of our dreams tends to slip away, making them even more elusive and enigmatic. In essence, dreams are a testament to the incredible power, creativity, and complexity of the human mind. They open a portal to an inner world that is as rich and varied as our external one, offering us a glimpse into our deepest thoughts, emotions, and desires. As we continue to delve deeper into the mysteries of the brain, 
we might just come closer to understanding the true purpose and significance of our nocturnal journeys. As we conclude this exploration into the realm of dreams, remember that each dream is a personal journey, unique as the individual who dreams it. So, as you lay your head to rest tonight, you might just see your dreams in a new light, appreciating them not just as random images, but as valuable insights into the self. Thank you for venturing into the fascinating world of dreams with us. As always, stay curious and keep exploring. If you enjoyed this journey, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, ensuring that you never miss out on these fantastic voyages into the human mind.